On staying in Malaysia, the country is hoping the return of Chinese travellers will help buoy its tourism industry. It's still struggling to recover from COVID-19 pandemic lockdowns. It is targeting 5 million arrivals this year from Asia's number one economy. But a widely expected wave has turned out to be a trickle in the face of higher travel costs and fewer flights. CNA's Melissa Goh looks at the state of play. It's a race against time. And Malaysia is hard-pressed to achieve the lofty target of attracting 16 million tourist arrivals this year. With eight months to go before the year ends, the country is counting on China, which reopens its borders in January. Malaysia's tourism minister, Chiang Keng Sing, is expecting Chinese tourists to return in full force from July during the summer holidays. Before COVID, we are getting about 3.1 million. But we, this year, we try to get 5 million now. We try our best. If everybody can give a cooperation work together, I think we should be able to handle it. Why not? Already, 450,000 tourists from China, he said, are ready to visit Malaysia after agreements were signed with two Chinese tour agencies recently. But there are teething problems that need to be solved. Sick uh, is an issue, continuity is an issue. We try to increase the schedule flight and also at the same time we try to get the schedule charter flight. So we give us a little bit of time, we sort it out. There are currently 81 flights per week from various cities across China to Malaysia. And that is not enough, as Malaysia needs to at least triple the capacity and frequency in order to meet the target. Now, while Malaysia is anticipating a surge in mainland Chinese tourist arrivals later this year, can the tourism industry as a whole cope, uh, given that a lot of the players were forced to close during the pandemic? and some that remain open are still struggling with stuffing and rising costs. Charter flights cost more, so who's going to bear the cost? So we need to find uh, a, some, some, some sort of incentive. So most probably we have to work with the state governments, state tourism, to encourage the charter flights uh, uh, directly to the, uh, to the respective states. And meanwhile, the tourism minister has promised to ease visa application process, including introducing visa on arrival for Chinese and Indian tourists. He's also working with the Home Ministry to simplify criteria for retirees and high net worth individuals to make Malaysia their second home. But for many industry players, they hope the government can do more to help ease the cost of doing business that's gone up on the average by 30%. Compared to pre-pandemic, we are paying our staff more. Electricity, utility costs are more expensive. Um, uh, rent are also uh, gradually increasing as well. Basically everything. You know, it is not an issue about uh, lack of workers. The problem is the lack of uh, management and skill workers in Malaysia especially. While mainland Chinese tourists are starting to trickle in, the tourism sector really needs to get ready before busloads of tourists return from China. Uh and the influx of Chinese tourists is expected to inject new momentum into the economy. To achieve that, Malaysia needs to speed up the recovery of its airline, hotels and transportation sectors if it wants to meet its target of generating 11 billion US dollars in tourism revenue this year. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.